What's going on? Back at it today. So, I just had a conversation a couple days ago with my coworker. He has a pretty cool, gnarly beard, actually. But he doesn't take care of that well, so it's a little well mess. So the first thing I asked him was, do you use oil? He goes, nah, I'm going natural. I feel my beard grows faster. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm. This is where this fucker comes in. So I had a conversation. He doesn't know do's and don'ts, then mistakes and so on. So I know I did a while back um, uh, don'ts, but I want to get a little more specific with what to not do with oil. And I'm going to go over some things with it. I'm going to go with it, what you should do. So, the biggest one I see so, so much is using too much. It's my rule of thumb is one drop with one inch. If you have three inches, three drops. Six inches, six drops. Depends on your skin also. That may vary. So how do you know you're using too much? Hmm. So number one is if your beer feels greasy or like watery type almost. That's number one. Um, that is the biggest key. The biggest one I also hear a lot is people not using a little water before they put oil. When by water, I mean make sure your beer is a little damped, might not drip in. So let's say you do three drops, one, two, three, rub it really well with your fingers and spread it. The water helps locks it in and spreads at the same time. And that's the beauty about it. The second one I heard, and this is actually his biggest downfall was buying cheap crap. By cheap crap, I mean anything with not good products, quality oils, like um, anything with silicone. Anything with C-O-N, cone, is usually a red flag, is a, is a um, silicone. How do you know it's a bad brand? Well, first was the name brand. If you hear like a uh, Bath & Bar Works, for example, coming out with the oil, and like they did recently, and I just did a video a couple of weeks ago, I believe, that's a, usually a big red flag. Big companies are not going to use all natural oils. They're trying to cut corners and make money. That's what it is. As much as I'm a big fan of Bath & Body Works, that is the facts. Uh, the other one is cheap. Like you have some some rare occasions like Goodfellas, uh, Pitbull, and I'll say the other one I'm going to name off my head is Honest Amish. But you have other ones like... Um, Bath and Barrett, like I mentioned, I believe that's pretty cheap overall. Um, another one I would say off my head, I'm just randomly kind of off my head. Um, Cremo, that's another one off my head right now. I don't recommend any of those. The reason a lot of people go to the store brands are easy access, fast, easy, right there at the moment. I just found out, like, again, my coworker, he does not like ordering offline. He's very old school, and nothing wrong with that. But reality is, if you want good products, you have to get it online. So, my next one is mixing it up. What do I mean by mix it up? So, the oils, you go through what's called a plateau effect. Eventually, your skin will get used to it. So, you're going to have to mix up brands and carriers. The benefit of me right now is doing this channel, I get a chance to test out a lot of different products. And my bank account feels it a lot of times. <laughs> but I get a chance to every day use a different kind if I want to. Like when I'm not doing testing, I will use one today. Let's say today we love Bearded. Tomorrow be Kingsman. The next day, uh, Mac Beard. Uh, after that, I might use... Um, I know Detroit Brewing Company and so on. Every single day I have a different one because I have so many because I'm testing all the time. So mix it up so you don't get the plateau effect and the benefits of those different oils will, will start reacting with your skin and hair to the point like you're 
gonna be very amazed. I was. I was the biggest downfall. The only two brands I used to use was Kingsman and Live Bearded. And I I've been in Kick on it for a while and I still think they're very, very good. Um I just went over this one too, but I want to mention it again. Do not apply on a dry beard. And now it sounds I'm repeating myself, but it happens. So make sure you put a little water on, like I mentioned earlier. Now, this is the one that blows my mind. Wasting oil. Let's be honest, guys. We spend a lot of money on this stuff. We work hard on our money. Why waste it? Oil is not only for the skin, for the beard. It might have beard oil. I literally just had a conversation with somebody at my job. Um, he has a mustache. He has a really good uh, Ventai beard. Nice handlebar. Nice work. And he goes to me, I use some beard oil. Okay, I was taken back. Most people have mustaches. like, oh, beard oil is for beards. In his case, he actually did his research. So let's say you're only running a goatee or a humble mustache. You still can put oil. But let's say you have a beard like mine or anybody else's, like Dan C's, for example. We're just going to get to his level one day. <laughs> but on topic was um, you can usually use the extra oil. I like putting it on my forehead um, because that's where I have acne, like I mentioned before. And it dries up the most for me. So it keeps it nice and moist. Those are the biggest ones. I've been thinking about any other ones off my head. Using too much is the one I keep seeing a lot. The other bad thing about using too much before I forget is it will clog up your pores. And you don't want that. That's where slow growth comes in. Acme problems. Beer acne, we call it. It's just nasty stuff you don't want. So, make sure you use enough on a wet beard. Make sure you mix it up. I know it might sound a little expensive. Again, by mixing up, I'm not saying you have to buy six different brands. You can buy maybe one bottle of Live Bearded. Next minute, you might buy Kingsman. And I'm just mentioning randomly off my head right now. So, make sure you mix it up. Even with your butters, your butters, your um, wash, your conditioner, and oils. If you use beer bong, same thing. Wax, same thing. Mix it up because it will be more beneficial for you. Except that, guys, this is going to be a short video today. I don't have a lot. If you have another topic that I missed about mistakes, please let it on. If I did that right, I did it wrong. <laughs> so let me try that again. If I missed anything of beer mistakes, beer oil mistakes. Damn it, let's try this for a third time. If I missed any oil mistakes, beer oil mistakes, there we go. Please let, let me know in the comments. I'm having a hard time with this one tonight. Oh, man. Let me know below in the comments, guys. Except that, stay fresh.